This is Sam from Instant Beauty. Uh, I miss you guys. It's been a long time since we've filmed. Uh, just personal matters and uh, lots of stuff going on in life. You know, getting older and uh, more responsibilities and all kinds of things and it prevented us from filming. But I apologize. But we're going to try and make some more videos for you. And uh, yay! <laughs> okay. So the topic I wanted to talk about today was uh, what to really expect when getting extensions. Um, I decided to make this video because uh, generally people are kind of clueless in that sense where it's like, okay, I'm going to get extensions and they're going to be great and they're going to be fantastic and it's going to be magical. And uh, really that is not the case. There are uh, a lot of things you do have to keep in mind before you get extensions just to make sure they are right for you. Okay, so what to expect? Well, first of all, um, I would like to mention that not everybody should get extensions. Um, there are certain people with quite sensitive scalps, uh, you know, where it, having extensions would be actually very uncomfortable, especially the permanent ones because now they're on your head and uh, I've actually done a couple of clients where their heads were so sensitive, their scalps were so sensitive that they had to remove them right away. Um, that's sad because, you know, they're happy with the look but they can't keep it. Um, if you're the type of person where wearing a hair, uh, your hair in a ponytail, like a tight ponytail, really, really bothers you and gives you headaches, um, you might have too sensitive of a scalp for extensions. Another point is you can feel them. Now you do have um, extra hair on your on your head, uh, there are, you know, different attachment methods, but most probably you will be able to feel them. Um, again, it's not magic, you know, uh, unfortunately we do our best, but you, you might be able to feel them. They might be a little bit itchy sometimes. If you touch the back of your head or the sides or wherever you have the extensions, you might you might actually feel them. Um, and this is a this is a point where a lot of my clients kind of joke about because you know if they have like a partner or they're worried about um, you know maybe going on a date and having to explain why you know we have these mysterious beads or glue or something on their head, they have to explain that. So it's a little bit funny, but um, it's something you do need to understand before you get extensions and something you have to expect. Another main point is uh, they grow out. So sometimes people uh, expect to get extensions and have them in for months and months and months and months and months. And while some extensions do allow for that, uh, you do have to understand that they, your hair grows. So they grow down with your hair. Um, and in that case, you do, uh, you do need to come in for maintenance appointments. And sometimes you can see them when they start to grow out too long. So uh, I, I've had a client actually, she had the fusions in for seven months, which is excessive in my opinion. Even if they stay in, think about your hair growth. If you've, you've got a, a normal growth pattern where your hair grows about an inch to an inch and a half each month, seven months later, like that's quite a lot of growth. And uh, a lot of people, I don't know if they don't mind having them dangle, but you know, it's not the best idea and it's not good for your own hair. Uh, just, just because it puts a lot of strain on your natural hair, so I don't recommend that. And uh, yeah, so when you get before you get extensions, you do have to keep in mind that they grow out and they do require maintenance. Another big one is they take work. Uh, they take time. Um, you know, <laughs> I have this awesome client. She's the best, but she takes fantastic care of her extensions at home. Um, and she tells me that she actually, if she's watching now, I'm sorry for mentioning you but honestly best story I've ever heard she literally takes her blow dryer with her uh, she shares a house with her friends so she takes her blow dryer with her to her bathroom um, before she even gets in the shower because she wants to make sure that she dries her hair immediately like not even one second uh, without drying her hair Which, yeah, that's, that's a little bit extreme you don't have to go to that length but they do take work and you do have to style your extensions and dry them and you know, most of the time it's not a wash and go. In some cases it is, but in most cases you do have to actually take time to style your hair and uh, and blow dry it and, and you know flat iron or whatever. And take take a little bit extra time. So you know you might want to um, plan for that. If you're in a rush every morning, maybe extensions aren't for you. So that actually brings me to my next point. Um, you do have to style your extensions most of the time, like I would say 90% of people have to style their extensions, uh, except for that small percentage of, of, of you guys out there, Rachel included, who has the exact same texture as uh, most human hair extensions, slight natural wave, uh, because you know they're not going to blend in. So uh, if you have pin straight hair and you get um, you know the slight natural wave extensions, when you wash your hair and then not style it, you know, you're going to see the two different textures. 
and it's not going to blend in, it's not going to look that great. Or vice versa, if, you're, if your hair is really curly, you know, you're going to have to definitely do something with the extensions to style so that everything blends in and looks natural. So another thing you need to expect and understand before you get extensions, um, or, or even just before you're about to remove extensions, because it's going to be a bit of a shocker, um, your hair, some of your hair does come out uh, when you do remove the extension. Now this isn't because, I mean not always, but some, and I guess in some cases if you don't take care, care of them or if they were um, applied incorrectly, you might actually be breaking some of your hair and, and losing some hair. But typically, a lot of the hair that is supposed to come out naturally um, gets trapped within the glue or the attachment. And then when you take out all your extensions, you might experience a little bit of that hair coming out. Um, and it might feel like a big shock. As well as the fact that all of a sudden, you know, you had all this hair and all of a sudden now you don't. And that's a, that's a really big adjustment. Um, a lot of people, after you remove extensions, they feel their hair, they say, oh, it's so thin. Sure, look, all your hair is here. I will show them, look at, look at it all, <laughs> it's right there. So um, it's, a bit of a, it's a bit of something that you have to sort of talk yourself and, and understand, and, uh, and then you won't have such a big heart attack after you take your extensions out. Another thing that's important to expect is uh, you gotta pay some coin for these extensions because, uh, you know, to be honest, quality extensions are not cheap. Um, and if you're going to continue to get them, they do require maintenance, and maintenance appointments typically cost money as well. So you do have to understand that they are an investment, um, and, uh, and you sh probably should uh, do some research before choosing the extensions because you want to make sure that you're getting good quality, they're not going to mess up your hair, and that you're going to get the best bang for your buck. And my final point is that you do have to uh, just remember that washing your hair, combing your hair, you just have to be a lot more careful just in general, you know, you can't be as rushed. Some rushed. Sometimes, um, you know, if you want to treat them as, as your own hair, you want to condition them and you want to be careful, but some people, you know, when they comb them out, they comb them out really roughly, or when they're blow drying their hair, they're tugging quite roughly. So you do have to keep in mind that you do have to be a lot more careful. Basically, you have to baby them um, to get the best life out of the extensions. So, uh, so that's an important point because a lot of people don't realize that they do have to sort of change their entire routine. Um, but if you do, you will have long-lasting extensions and you won't do any damage to your own hair. So I did mention all of these points because it, I felt it was very important to make a video like this. Um, I'm always talking about how wonderful extensions are, and they are. They are wonderful. I mean, they, like I said, they're not magic. It's not a magical fix, but um, they're incredible. It's an incredible tool to enhance your look, um, to change your look, to Know, obviously give you the long luscious locks you've always wanted um, to help grow out a bad haircut to add some uh, highlights to add some thickness they're they're fantastic and uh, I do recommend getting extensions I just wanted to emphasize the fact that they do take a little bit of work and there are a few things that you do need to expect that maybe most people would not know um, so I hope that this video helped uh, anybody who's doing research looking for extensions or anybody who's just gotten extensions and is now like, ah, I feel them or, you know, it's so hard. It's, it's just takes a little bit of getting used to and once you do, um, you're going to love them. So thank you beauties and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.